Many countries around the world use different standards in feeding electricity to residents. For example, parts of Europe use 240 volts 50 Hz AC, whereas Britain and India use 230 volts 50 Hz AC. Have you ever wondered why the U.S. chose 110 volt 60 Hz alternating current? The answer contains a bit of tradition, a bit of facts about insulation, and an interesting story about a feud between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Direct current was Thomas Edison's development, but it was not easily converted to higher or lower voltages. Nikola Tesla, on the other hand, developed alternating current, which can be converted to other voltages relatively easily using a transformer. Edison did not want to lose the royalties from his patents for direct current, so he began a campaign to discredit alternating current. He spread misinformation, saying that alternating current was more dangerous. However, at the same time, large companies like Westinghouse saw the benefits of AC and began to use it to electrify cities and towns. Eventually, AC won out and the U.S. adopted the 110-volt AC 60 Hertz standard. In addition, 110 volts proved to be much more economical once electricity became widely available. At the time of the first widely available electric grid, electricity was mainly used to light houses and streets, which used bulbs that worked best between 100 and 110 volts. At the same time, the materials available in those early days to insulate cables and wires were not very good. If a higher voltage was used, there was the danger of damage or shocks. However, since material science advanced quickly, by the time that most other nations started becoming electrified, higher voltages could be handled safely. As 110 volts AC 60 Hz became the standard for American power, European power companies arbitrarily decided to operate at 50 Hz and push the voltage up to 240 in order to improve distribution efficiency. So most European countries adopted 240 volts AC 50 Hz as standard, which eventually also spread to parts of India and Asia. So why didn't the U.S. shift its standard household voltage to a higher level when it was perfectly safe to do so? Well, it simply wasn't economical. The cost of changing all the distribution transformers would have been too much, and it would also mean that most U.S. citizens would have had to replace their appliances to accommodate a voltage shift. The U.S. did, however, push the standard voltage to 120 in the 1950s. However, since the advantages of 240 volt electricity for heavy duty appliances could not be ignored, most homes since World War II have been supplied with 120 240 volt electricity. Most older homes have also been rewired for 240 volt electricity. In fact, nearly all homes in the U.S. today have 240 volt alternating current supplied. And that is good because there is a demand for 240 volt appliances. This is especially the case in newer homes, which may include more appliances that run on 240 volts, such as ovens, air conditioners, and electric cars. There may even be a time when the 120 volt standard may be phased out, but that likely won't be happening anytime soon.